Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, we're going to do another episode of Motivation Monday. Guys, this is a series where I just kind of give some of my advice in life that kind of got me to where I'm at today. You know, I do very well in my day, to, my day job. You know, I can travel where I want, go wherever I want. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, guys, I am just trying to spread some knowledge and some uh, advice based on the experiences that I've had and some of the things that I've observed. And guys, I don't want to have kids. I never have. Okay? Never have, never will. And guys, that's not a bad thing. If you don't want kids, you know, if you can honestly look yourself in the face and say, ask yourself, do I want kids? Anything other than a yes is a no. Even an I don't know, that's a no. Okay? Don't have kids, guys, unless you are dead ass sure you want kids. And guys, don't ever let some woman force you into being a father or press you into being a father. And by force, I mean, I always say this, guys. If a woman gets pregnant and she wants to uh, have a child, um, all she's getting from me is direct deposit. That's it. Because I'm not going to be a father. I'm not. No one can shame me. No one can force me. No one can do anything. I don't want kids. Every woman that I've ever been with, I told them I don't want kids. Okay? I made it to 42 years on this planet without having kids. And I, I'm i never going to have any kids. If you guys are with a woman who all of a sudden starts talking about birth control, I mean about uh, babies and stuff, get out of there. If you're with a woman who refuses to do any of the 30 plus forms of a birth control. She wants to have a baby. Guys, just leave. And guys, you remember, birth control is more than just pills. There's the patch. There's the shot. There's the um, IUD. Okay? There's even stupid things like the cervical cap or those that old school foam or any of that stuff. The uh, spermicide. There's tons of different types. The Nuva ring and all these different types of birth control. Any woman that's not on birth control wants to have a baby, guys. And don't trust them when they say that they're on birth control, guys. Now, getting into this here, I have a video here. And this is posted on Dee Dee's channel. Dee Dee, she's kind of a red pill uh, person. But anyway, she's more black male focused. I am black, so she talks more about black men and then black women. You know what I'm saying? But she's married. She has three kids, you know. So she's pro-black male because she has three sons. But anyways, she pulled up a video of this knucklehead trying to say, uh, and of course, she's black. Uh, men over 35 who don't have kids are irresponsible. Think about how stupid that is. Guys, I'm a 42-year-old black man in America. I have no kids. And I've, I've gotten this my whole adult life from black black women. You ain't got no kids, AJ. What's wrong with you? Well, the whole stereotype of black men having kids and stuff, isn't it crazy that when you try and, 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 and buck against the stereotype, you get stereotyped. So guys, well, let's just check this video out really, really fast and see what this dunderhead has to say. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, drop a comment, guys. It really helps to keep this channel going. In, but I don't care if I meet a man over the age of 35 and he does not have children I am scared and you guys know she probably has like five or six bastard children right because it either tells me that you're irresponsible or nobody saw you as being responsible or your sex is whack or you're gonna try to get me to pop a zillion and one plan B's. Something is off if you are over 35 and you don't have children. And yeah, I don't, so nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted to create a version of you and you expect me to want you. Nobody wants you. I'm good. I don't want something that nobody doesn't want. <laughs> I don't, I need a hot commodity. <laughs> All right, guys. Think about how crazy that is. And guys, this is this is what's wrong with the black community, all right? Let me just sidebar this. Guys, I am black, so I can say this, all right? We, as blacks, have internalized dysfunction so much that this is what a lot of black people think. 
especially black women. They honestly think that if a black man doesn't have kids, there's something wrong with him. That uh uh that it's plan B's and plan B's only and not oh, you know, he actually decided to wear condoms and stuff. You can have protected sex and actually have sex without having kids. And that the only commodities are men that are knocking girls up everywhere. So for all you guys who don't know, 54% of black men are single and child, childless. Okay? 30% are, ma- are married. That means that the other 16% of men are responsible for the 80% of children that are born out of wedlock. So the 80% of the bastard child, child, children in our community are being had by 16% of men. It means all these women are all sleeping with all the same guys. Okay? Her idea of a commodity is a guy that has a bunch of kids. A bunch of bastard kids running around. Think about how crazy that is. Right? Matter of fact, guys, I'm going to break out the race, race card. I haven't done that in a while. Right? Boom. There it is. So, guys, this is what a lot of black men who are successful, who don't have kids or or either don't want kids or have had to put them you know put off having kids until their career is where it is is dealing with this foolishness and for all you white guys right i tell you black men we are the canary in the coal mine it's happening to you guys now too this function now is all throughout america and there's white men asian men indian men who are well you don't have kids what's wrong with you duh you know what i'm saying guys don't listen to this don't listen to the shaming tactics and the shaming lang- lang- language, guys. If you don't want kids, don't have them, okay? If you're with a woman, if you're not ready to have kids, don't have them. If you're with a, a woman, I don't care how fine she is, how long that you've been with her, as soon as they, they start talking about babies, as soon as they say, oh, I can go on birth con- control and you don't have to wrap it up anymore and you can shoot at the club, don't believe them, guys. Leave them alone. Leave them alone, guys. It's okay to be childless. It's okay to not want kids. And everyone who says this, it's because misery loves company, guys. Women like this are miserable. That bastard kids running around, and they want you to be just as miserable as them. They fit a negative stereotype, guys, so they want you to fit a negative stereotype. Guys, don't do it. Don't listen. Don't do it. I'm never having kids, guys, ever. And and to any woman out there that if I do have some long lost kid out there that I don't know about, don't come knocking on my door in 18 years. Because I will calmly tell you to take three steps back and I'll slam that damn door right in your face. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.